friends subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon thank you very much Hello all my dear students, Ms. Suraj once again in front of you to have. Today I'm going to tell you about an interesting sort of story from class 12 which is The Boarding House. This story is written by an Irish writer James Joyce in the year 1914. This story was taken from the book called Dubliners. This story deals with the life of a lady whose name is Mrs. Mooney. This story has presented the struggles done by this particular lady for the sake of her children's future. This story has proved that a mother can also play a very vital role in shaping up the bright future of her children. Now let me tell you first about the main character of this story. Mrs. Mooney is the main character here in this story. She is quite bold, determined and imposing type of woman. She is quite good and responsible mother who cares much more about her children's future. She has done a lot of struggles in her life for the sake of her children. She has a boarding house in Hardwick Street. This boarding house is running on quite good. Most of the guests come to this boarding house for fooding and lodging. Among those guests, most of them are singers, tourists, officials, clerks, etc. Mrs. Mooney has two children who are Jack and Polly. Both of them assist their mother in the boarding house. Polly is quite beautiful girl of 19 years old. She has white complexion with black blonde hair. She is quite frank by her nature. She has been the center of attraction for all the guests in the boarding house. Her charm attracts the guests much. She serves in a very entertaining as well as frank manner. Mrs. Mooney's son Jack is a bit talkative. He likes to drink and even involve in fights. He has engaged himself in some kind of part-time job. He also helps his mother in the boarding house in his spare time. Mrs. Mooney's life is running on quite happily and smoothly along with two children here in this boarding house. But if we talk about the past life of Mooney, we will find a lot of difficulties and hardships in her life. Mooney's father was a butcher by his profession. She married a foreman of her father. Later on, her husband started torturing her much. Polly and Jack were quite small then. Her husband tied money in his bad habits and fell into huge debt. Her husband fought with her for money even in front of customers. Her drunker husband even tried to kill her with knife. Mrs. Mooney saved her life, escaping from there and spending her night in Neva's house. After that, she started living separately along with two kids. With little amount, she started a boarding house in Hardwick Street. She brought off both of the kids with great difficulty. She had even sent Polly to learn typing, but due to her drunkard father, Polly stopped going there. Mrs. Mooney has played a very significant role in the love relationship of her young daughter Polly and Mr. Doran, a rich man of 35 years old. Now, I would like to present you some important questions and their answers which will help you in your examination.
Mrs. Mooney's daughter Polly keeps on entertaining the guests in the boarding house. She tries her best to provide good support to her mother in the boarding house. She has already left her studies. Mrs. Mooney has played a very vital role in the love relationship of her young daughter Polly and Mr. Doran. She keeps watching them as well as their love affair from the beginning in the boarding house. She remains silent for a long time without interfering with them. She waits for the right time to act upon this matter. She keeps watching them being passive. But finally, Mrs. Mooney takes quite bold decision. She thinks that Mr. Doran must pay compensation for his enjoyments. The money is not sufficient for this. Mr. Doran must marry her daughter. So Mrs. Mooney starts with her own daughter, Polly, first. Polly feels quite uneasy at first, but later on she tells every detail of their relationship to her mother. Later on, Mrs. Mooney calls Mr. Doran in her drawing room. She tells him every detail of their relationship. Mr. Doran is thoroughly confused. He becomes speechless and helpless. Mrs. Mooney asks Mr. Doran to marry her daughter. Mrs. Mooney traps him with her strategic techniques. Mr. Doran accepts his relationship with Polly but does not accept to marry her. He knows very clearly that Polly is uneducated and her family background isn't good. People talk badly about Polly's drunkard father and even the bad reputation of the boarding house. His family won't accept her and his friends will laugh at him. He even knows very clearly that if he refuses to marry Polly, he will lose job. He has been working in Catholic merchant's office for 13 years. He tries to be free from this matter by paying some compensations, but Mrs. Mooney traps him by saying that she doesn't want to sell her daughter's virtues. Very cleverly, Mrs. Mooney persuades Mr. Doran and even reminds him the happy moments which he had spent with Paul. She compels him to marry her daughter. Her strategic techniques work at last. She even threats Mr. Doran. Mr. Doran agrees to marry Polly after remembering all those happiest moments which he had spent with Paul. In this way, Mrs. Mooney becomes successful to settle down the love relationship of her young daughter Polly and Mr. Dorn. So this is all in all about this interesting sort of story, The Boarding House by James Joyce. Now, I would like to present you some important questions and their answers which will help you in your journey. Thank you for watching this video. We'll meet again in my next video. Until then, bye-bye, take care, and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you very much.